Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to build this beautiful hickory and cherry box. Want to see how I do it? Stay tuned.
So the finish actually turned out pretty good. Um, would I recommend this finish? I don't know. I think it's going to depend on the project itself. The the polyurethane or the Gorilla Glue is certainly durable enough for just about any project. Um, might be a little overkill for this type of project, but overall it still did turn out pretty good, and I did successfully pull it off. Now I've seen this technique on Ask This Old House, and I thought it was kind of cool, and I thought it was fairly simple the way they explained it. What I've really uh, decided is it's not a practical solution, at least with the techniques that I used. Um, I did find out if you warm up the glue and then dip your rag in the glue and spread it, that was a lot easier. Um, applying the glue right to the finish and trying to swirl it on, such as the uh, As This Old House did, uh, I didn't have very good success with that. Uh, maybe it was the applicator I was using, maybe it was just the overall technique I was using, and maybe it's just I don't have enough practice to do it successfully. Um, but ne nevertheless, I, I did finish the project and uh, with the finish, and it turned out pretty good. What I did do, and I'll try to give a good close-up, is I most of the box I did one finish of the glue and then the wax. On one part of the box I did two coats of the glue finish and then the wax. And in one part of the box I just used regular old spray lacquer off the shelf and the wax. And I'll try to put a picture up on the screen and see if you could tell the difference. If you could tell the difference, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Um, as it sits right now, I can tell a slight difference between the lacquer and the glue, but it's very, very slight. I think if I actually done like three or four coats of the lacquer, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference, and I would have finished this project a lot faster. Okay, I got the box done. Uh, it turned out really well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, it's really smooth to the touch, and um, I've always liked the the hickory look, especially with a like a national finish or a very light collar stain. Uh, I've always really liked hickory. Uh, the downside to hickory is it's very dense wood, so it it does take a beating on your uh, saw blades and uh, any tools that you kind of use on it. Um, that was one of the reasons I used the hinges the way I did because I just don't have good enough chisels to mortise out um, hinges in a box typically like what you would do on this. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I chose the hinges that I did. And uh, before you say it, yes, I know the clutch is uh, upside down uh, in this particular box design. That was the only way I could use this particular clutch. And the only reason I used, chose this particular clutch is uh, it was cheap at the hardware store and uh, is the one I picked up. So I had to install it upside down. Yes, I know it's upside down. <laughs> now the one other thing that I wanted to concentrate on this box was the grain match. Never really built a box with grain match matching uh, techniques and this was the first time I kind of attempted to do that. And for the most part it turned out pretty well. Um, I think, yeah, this corner is where uh, it didn't match up from the four sides, which you're always going to have one corner that's not quite matched up. Um, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's not too far off, but it still looks pretty good. The grain matches all the way around and the cherry uh, splines I put in there, I think just gives it a little bit more uh, spunk to the box. For the most part, the box turned out just the way I wanted it to and it looks beautiful and I really like it. Um, I was a little skeptical on the hinges, but even those turned out pretty cool and uh, looked pretty nice. So that's all I got for you this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.